Hello everyone, today we're gonna have a look at Neat App Cloud and Android Manager. Now this app helps you manage your Android backups such as exporting the files, restoring specific files, deleting, fixing MD5 hashes and so on. It's a very useful app and obviously this app requires root. So let's give it a look. So the first thing you get when you start up the app is you get a list of the current available Android backups which you have made as you can see. Then on the left side, on the right side we've got an option to reboot into recovery mode. Then we have to flash a new recovery and to flash zips via recovery. Unfortunately it, don't, it doesn't seem to be able to detect our recovery which we use as you can see here detected recovery unknown. Even though when I click here it can't find the walks and it can just not detect the recovery used. Then we've got on the left side tools, fixed permissions, online Android backup. I have not tested these. Also, as you can see there, you have a question mark when you tap on it. It gives you information on what the option does. So this is really helpful if you want to know. And now let us dive in into our backup. So when you tap on the listed backups, first of all, you are taken to the information tab, which shows you basic attributes, uh, Coco mode backup type, the date when it was made, as you can see the date is 4 August and uh, the size of the Android backup from here you can delete it you can verify the MD5 or generate a new MD5 in case you're having problems restoring this you can also compress it and convert but this option basically just says coming soon so we do not know what this actually does for now anyways on the left side which is the best part I'm gonna show you that in a bit on the right side we've got export backup basically you can open up the files here such as for example the system RFS star and you can export the files and folders inside in case you want to see something so if you're looking for a specific file or you want to see a directory you can browse the Android backup from here as you can see I have opened up the files I can browse the folders out of the files out of the APK files and everything else so this is really useful and finally here we've got the restore data now this is the most useful part in my opinion we've got options here to restore the separate files so you can restore only the apps and data which includes a choice of restoring system apps or user apps then we've got to restore only the text messages only the car walks and then we've got restore Wi-Fi access points restore Bluetooth pairings restore user word dictionary restore browser data as you can see this these have these have pro labels on them which means you need to purchase the pro version of the app in my opinion only the restore browser that is useful other than that I don't really need uh, the above ones you've got then restore an Andro Android ID restore home screen and restore the whole Android backup so let's do a test on some of these features so let us start off by restoring for example a deleted text message or a, te a text message actually from the Android backup so for example I'm gonna head into the messages here and for example I'm gonna delete this one 1775 this uh, message here is in the Android backup so I have just deleted from my current ROM and now I'm gonna open up the app again and I'm gonna choose restore text messages we have an option here to merge text messages or overwrite text messages. You can just choose merge. As you can see now it is reading. It will then start restoring data. And it will tell you that it is successful. Now exit everything. Go to messages. As you can see I managed to restore the messages again. From the Android backup. And so that's about it. With the help of this app you can export your Android backups. You can restore only specific things and do other stuff. A really useful app requires root and it is free in the Google Play Store. For these options here you need to purchase the Pro version, unfortunately. So yeah, that is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.